Hi, in today's video, we will try to create a chart like this, which is basically a scatter plot and using different sizes for the value. So as the values increase, the, the, the weight or the circle size increases and also the color changes as well. The main idea is to show a mean line, a mean plus one standard deviation line and mean minus one standard deviation line. And the objective is to actually show the mathematical symbols. That's what we're going to see, how we can replace the normal text with a mathematical symbol, for example, mu for mean, mu plus sigma. So let's get started. We'll be using these two libraries and we'll be using a built-in data set called chickweights. So if I run all these three commands together, we should get a dot frame called df which has the chick weights information there, the weight and the feed. So based on different feed type, the weight of the chickens. Notice that the, the feed is not capitalized, so it's not a title case. So let's convert that so it'll look better on, the, on our chart. So by running this command, we would be able to change the first character to a capital character, which is also called a title case. Now, let's calculate the mean and the standard deviation. We just want to create an overall mean for all the data set and I'm rounding it to one nearest digit. So mean has been created, a standard deviation has been created, as you can see, mean and the standard deviation. Now, because we are just trying to explore the data saying, so how many points lie between mean plus minus one standard deviation? So we are actually going to calculate a mean plus one standard deviation value and mean minus one standard deviation value. So this is what we get, 183 and 339. With that calculated, we are ready to plot our first chart. So I'm going to start with a simple chart first. Let's run the chart and then we'll discuss it. So we should have our plot. So we have a basic scatter plot because we have on the x-axis the feed and on the y-axis we have the weight. And we wanted to plot the geom point and we also told ggplot that the size of the points should vary by the weight. So as the weight increases, the, the dot will grow bigger and bigger. And we also said that we want to have the color also to be changed. So as you can see, the color actually changes from red to orange and, and, and then to, to, to green color. And we said we want a bit of a transparency there. So we said alpha equals 0 0.8. And we don't want to see the a special legend on the side and then we said show dot legend equals false that hides the legends. We just gave another scale uh, gradient color saying low colors should be red and the high colors should be green and in between. And so if I run it, this is what we saw. And now let me go one step further. Remember we wanted to show the, the mean point and the standard deviation um, plus minus the mean also. So if I run this, all I've done is I've added another line called geom h line, which is going to be a horizontal line starting at the y intercept equals mean. So basically it's going to represent the mean in blue color and we want to have a line type as dashed. So if I run this, I should get a horizontal line which represents the mean. We have a mathematical symbol for mean, which is mu equals to 61.3, which was the mean there. So the idea was how do we get this mu symbol? So the mu symbol comes from, from this. So label equals as expression, b quote, mu equals. So it's important to give dot there. And then also I'm using the b quote, which actually evaluates the, the, the mean value in there. And this is how you get uh, the actual symbol as well as the values. Okay, so we have the mean line. And now let's plot mean plus one standard deviation and mean minus one standard deviation plot as well. So with this, I've added few extra lines there. So if I separate it like this to make it easy. So basically we are plotting the geom point first and then we are saying I want to have a horizontal line at the mean and then we are saying that we want to have a geom label. Notice that this is the geom label and we said we want that label at x equals 1.5. So how does that work? So the first point is one. The second point is two. And I said, I want to have this geom label somewhere in the middle. So I said 1.5. And you can try playing with these values to move it left or right. So we have this. And in the next one, we are going to say, so let's run this first. So we got now three lines. 
this is showing the JOM label, a, a horizontal line representing the mu or the, the mean. And then we have a mu plus sigma, which is mean, plus one standard deviation, which was 339.4, and mu minus sigma, which was mean minus one standard deviation. So we can see that these are the points which actually lie within one standard deviation of the mean. And you notice that the labels are different. This was in a box. This is not because we used a geom text instead of geom label. Everything is exactly the same. In this case, we are saying that I want to say mu plus sigma to be evaluated, which is to be shown like this. And then the dot mean, which is the mean plus st, which we calculated up there, or which you can see up there as well, to be replaced with the actual value as well. So, so this is what we wanted to achieve, the mean line showing the mathematical symbol for mean and the mu plus sigma and mu minus sigma and also showing the mathematical symbol. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.